ants were again looking for feed sources and were hitting my newborn baby bunnies as fast as they were being born in unprotected environments there. Not to mention they were crawling the entire treehouse facility or our bunny pen, if you will, knowing that there was food sources there between the urine, the food, the uh, bunny poop, just all the different food sources it made available to them. So kind of all of a sudden, I knew we had an ant problem all along, had for years, but it suddenly became critical with them literally crawling into the nest boxes and attacking helpless newborn bunnies or again if they didn't even have a nest box <clears throat> they were crawling all over my life baby bunnies instantly into their poor little ears their eyes in between their toes one I managed to knock a lot of ants off of and I, he made it another eight hours or so but he was literally just eaten alive he was beyond hope I mean it, it broke my heart I had tears running down my cheeks when I buried him so I had just gone to um, the local Ace Hardware store and asked them, you know, what do I do with an out of control ant problem? They're probably thinking I'm just another homeowner that's asking the same question. They had no idea of the magnitude, but in the uh, literature from the KM bait dispenser there was the call Ken phone number and email address. So I literally just sat down and emailed to Ken and said, help, I've got baby piggies that were born over the weekend. We actually had only one live baby pig. I had two stillborns, that broke my heart. But when I found them, it could, they couldn't have been 30 minutes old, covered, covered, absolutely covered with ants. I couldn't even see if they were alive, dead, if they had a color to them. I had to literally hose them off, hoping the water would revive them. But all it did was wash the ants off to the degree I could determine that they were dead. But the ants were just a moving wall on the piggies, even the live one, I had to save him. He's doing fine these days. But the very weekend the piggies were born and I lost the other litter of the baby bunnies there is when Ken called me that Monday morning. He was out that day. And from there, we've been putting out the dispensers and all trying to get this thing under control here. We have seen some remarkable progress. I mean, as Ken's been showing me with the dispensers there, he's showing me the trails, the super highways. We've engaged our neighbors to get rid of some of the uh, buildup of accumulation of some trailers, materials that were laying around. We're trying to keep as little stuff on the ground as possible. Need to mention somewhere in there that because of all this, we moved our bunnies into a garage. I rented, or um, I'm sorry, borrowed a bunch of rabbit houses known as hutches from our ag teacher at the uh, middle school there. And we're kind of racing against the clock to try to get our rabbit tree rebuilt this time properly, but also get the ant problem under control. We've got a huge super nest, we believe, in the uh, pine tree that we're sitting under. <laughs> and um, we see signs of improvement, but there's a bunch of them out there. There are just too many to even be able to uh, quantify. But we're seeing trails becoming sluggish. We're seeing trails stopping and drying up, stopping altogether. Um, we're re-diverting our attention and our energies into ways to combat the ants. And um, we're just, we're, Ken's confident we're gonna get this under control and uh, I'm with him 100%, I believe it too.